Shalom Aleichem to every tzaddik and tzaddikis that has, that has tuned in to these podcasts to get the chizuk that every single yid needs. Uh, the fact that you're listening and the fact that you're watching this is an immediate indication of your kedusha and your ratzon and your she'ifa to be the kind of person that you know that you can and want to be. Uh, in in, in Pashas Paracious, there's a fascinating Ralbag, where the Ralbag says that the Chet of Cain, the, the terrible, terrible Chet of Cain that caused him to go into Gullus, was that he thought that because he didn't succeed completely in his avoda when he brought his, brought his carbon, and it wasn't successful. And he looked at Hevel and said, and he was successful. He said, so I didn't make it. I wasn't complete. I wasn't shalem. I wasn't perfect. I failed. That's the end of my life. That's the end of everything. I'm just not, I'm just not good enough. And he had to kill Havel to feel good about himself. Meaning that the, the, his, his fail came from his inability to accept the fact that he was limited and that he did not succeed completely. And the response of HaKadosh Baruch Hu was that he sent him into Golas, where he would constantly be failing, where he would have a very hard time to ever reach Lamus. And Hashem said to him, now you're going to see that your avoda to me is not being perfect, but it's working and fighting and trying and doing your best. The, the feeling that many people have and the reason so many people get lost in their inability to remove themselves from the tumma and the challenges of technology is because we feel if we've already failed and we're, we're lost. So we're never going to be a kadosh. We're never going to be pure. We were, we've already lost that. Now it's a terrible sin to yourself to think that you can't achieve greatness and you can't achieve goodness and you can't achieve what you have to be because of something that happened or because of your past failures is the greatest onus you can give to yourself. And the greatest reward you can give to yourself is by knowing that even though you didn't make it and even though you failed and even though you had a hard time and even though you're having a hard time, your avoda is to work from where you are and to get as far as you can get. And every day and every minute that you control yourself, every day and every week that you go and, and work through it and fight it and make it work for yourself, the schar for that is unbelievable. And if chas shalom, like we all know, there are future failures and it doesn't last forever. So we get up and we start again. And it doesn't mean that I lost everything that I did because I was I was good for so long. And then all of a sudden, I, I so I lost it. So I'm back to zero. You're never back to zero. Every day that you kept to what your commitment, the, every one of those days is a day of a day of Kedusha that you're going to hold on to for the rest of your life. And that week or months that you held on and that you kept it, that is something that's hold back that's in your backpack. And when you take the next month and you try again, so you have now two months and three months and you don't ever go back to zero. Every good day adds up to the day that was before. So never give up and never think that just because I failed, I can't be successful. Just because I failed, I can't do better. That's an enormous lesson of the first real serious fail besides Adam and Chava, but the next serious fail is where I compared, Cain compared himself to someone else and gave up on himself because he wasn't good enough. There's no such thing as not being good enough. There's only such a thing as trying to be as good as you can be. And Hatzlacha, and don't ever, ever, ever give up. Mm -hmm.